Good evening, everyone. My name is Johanna DuPont Williams, and I am so pleased to welcome you and to thank you for honoring Bristol Community College's health science graduates with your presence at their pinning ceremony. Welcome graduates, families, friends, and BCC's faculty, staff, and administrators to this happy occasion. Before we begin, please turn off your phone in case it's on. A pinning ceremony is a special ceremony that's held in health sciences to welcome graduates into their respective professions. Tonight, we honor the graduates of the clinical laboratory science, dental hygiene, coding and reimbursement specialist, electrocardiography, health information management, medical assistant, <laughs> okay, medical administrative, ocu <laughs> occupational therapy assistant. We're the biggest and the loudest and the phlebotomy program. Please allow me to introduce some honored guests. I'll be introducing the guests on the stage. Please hold your applause until the introductions are completed. Honored guests on stage, please stand as I introduce you. Dr. John J. Spraga, President of Bristol Community College. Joyce Brennan, Vice President for College Communications. Dr. Rhonda Gabovitz, Vice President of Institutional Research Planning and Assessment. Kathleen Torpy Garganta, Vice President for Enrollment Services. Steve Kenyon, Vice President of Administration and Finance. Elizabeth McCarthy, Vice President for Resource Development. Steve Ozog, VP for Preparedness, Compliance, and Students. Joanne Pelletier, Vice President for Information Technology Services. Paul Vigent, Vice President for Workforce Development. Dr. Greg Satharis, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Patricia Dent, Dean of Health Sciences. Lynn Broder, Associate Dean of Health Sciences. Thank you. I do okay. Got everybody. Next, I'm going to uh, mention and ask the members of the Vice President's Councils to stand. We have the Vice President Councils for Academic Affairs, Student Services, and Enrollment Services who are seated in the audience. Would you please stand? Thank you. And next. I will introduce our faculty members. Please stand as I introduce you. Clinical Lab Science and Phlebotomy, Kelly Hiller. <laughs> Dental Hygiene, Joanne Clancy. <laughs> April Lavoy, Trish Cloutier. Arlene Alves. Bonnie Wolf Collins. Jane Horowick. Renee Horton. Hilda Maglahays, Joyce Moore, Suzanne Parent, Mary Ellen Seamus, and Dr. Pavel. Medical assisting faculty, Toby Shea and Angela, <laughs> and Angela Thibault. <laughs> Occupational therapy assistant faculty, Gloria Clark, Laura Clifford, David Costa, Christine Halfrich, Susan Martin, Karen Pimentel, and Diana Rice. No, okay. All right. Health Information Management and Medical Coding, Anne Marie Barone, Jill Flanagan, Gina Tassinari. And although I've introduced many of our BCC. Uh, faculty members and administrators individuals individually and want to tell you that at BCC we work as a team and many people have a hand in contributing to the services, facilities, and resources that are essential in helping students achieve success. Would everyone who works at BCC and has not been introduced please stand to be recognized for your contributions in helping these students get here. Joanne. 
Thank you. Dr. War, thank you. Thank you so much. And next, President Spraga will deliver the greetings. President Spraga. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, and good evening, everyone. Welcome to a wonderful evening uh, where we celebrate student success, our most important project product here at BCC. Um, I did want to congratulate each of the graduates, and uh, on your behalf, I'm sure you'd want to thank the faculty and staff at BCC who supported you as you moved your way through the various curricula, as well as the people at home, well, family and friends and loved ones who supported you as you moved ahead uh, through BCC. It has not been easy, and uh, we all appreciate the hard work that you put into arriving at this evening tonight and the recognition that you so richly deserve. Just a couple of things I wanted to uh, point out to you, uh, and that is that you, uh, I want to thank you for the examples that you set on our campus uh, and all of the locations for our students. Um, they saw you uh, moving together in study groups and uh, demanding and not asking, but demanding that labs be open for extra work and classrooms be open. Uh, and that, your seriousness of purpose uh, undoubtedly rubbed off on our other students. Uh, uh, they saw how important education is. And if they didn't when they, before they got here, they do now. And partly because of watching you and how carefully uh, you moved your way through and how serious you took the uh, studies that you had. So thank you for helping our students at BCC. Also, I wanted to thank you and you don't even know you did this, but you set a good example for friends and neighbors and people you don't even know that saw you trudging to school every day in the hot sun and in the cold weather and uh, all in between rain and everything else. Uh, uh, they they you saw you taking it so seriously and I hope that it rubs off on them and they too will begin to uh, think about uh, if not enter uh, higher education and move forward with their educational uh, programs. And finally, uh, uh, there are little ones here tonight and uh, you have set a great demonstration for them. They won't forget this night and it's something that you have done. Now, you didn't do it necessarily for them, but they, won't, uh, they will benefit from this. Uh, they will remember that education is so important the way that the college community has come together tonight to celebrate your success. We make a big deal out of this, and it's because it is a big deal, and they will see that. So I thank you very much for what you've done for them. The very last thing I want to say is that um, this is an age of lifelong learning. Uh, you are never up to the maximum of all you can learn about your profession. So as you move forward, uh, in lifelong learning, please be assured that Bristol Community College is available to you. Uh, we're here to help you. We're a resource for you. Um, you are a member of the, each of you is a member of the BCC family. You're always welcome. And uh, I hope you come for fun as well. Uh, but we'll be sure that we're here for your professional advancement and I'm glad to help any way we can. So congratulations, let's get on with the program, and I wish you all the best as you move forward. Thank you. Thank you, President Spraga. Dean Dent will now deliver the welcome. Dean Dent. On behalf of Associate Dean Broder and myself, Welcome, everyone. Just a short time ago, these graduates attended their program orientations, and probably some of them left a bit overwhelmed by the challenges they heard lay ahead. And what was also emphasized was that all that coursework, their clinical hours, assignments, and service projects was really not about them. Rather, it was all about the patients that would be entrusted to their care. While graduates, 
You stayed true to your call and you did it all. So this night, this pinning ceremony really is all about you. This pinning ceremony marks a critical transition. Tonight, you will fully accept the responsibilities of your healthcare profession. You are graduates from many disciplines, members of the healthcare team, and all of you must fulfill a vital role in ensuring excellence in patient care. Some of you will work directly with patients, while others will never meet the person who came in need of the healthcare team. But each of you will make a difference to that person's outcome by fulfilling the professionals you are meant to be. It is also fitting that your family and friends are here in this auditorium tonight to be a part of your celebration. They also made sacrifices so that you could study, go to class, and fulfill clinical requirements, and they are a huge part of your success. Our distinguished faculty have dedicated themselves to sharing their expertise and love of their professions with you. And as they pin you tonight, they are saying that their relationship with you has changed. It is no longer faculty and student, but peer to peer, health professionals together. And Roxanne, I need to thank Roxanne, who provides support and organization to faculty and students and staff alike. She keeps us all moving forward. If together, all of us have accomplished what we set out to do, then graduates, you should know that you truly will make a difference in the life of someone whose life may have been altered by injury or disease, lack of access to quality dental and health care, and that you will be instrumental in promoting health, wellness, and disease prevention. Never has it been more important that healthcare professionals are prepared for the challenges ahead. You are integral to the healthcare team, patient-centered and patient-focused. A few last words and thoughts. Always be kind and compassionate to all you treat. Work together as a team, a team of experts, to provide exceptional care for all. Be advocates for your patients and your profession. Let your professional ethics guide your decision making. Give back to your communities. And take some time to play along the way in this journey we call life. Welcome to the healthcare team. Thank you, Dean Dent. We will now introduce the graduates. We'll have each program director introducing the respective program's graduates. Each graduate will receive his or her pin from a faculty member who will stand beside the table and President Sprague who will be out front with a handshake. Please hold your applause until all of the graduates from each program have been introduced. And um, I will now ask Lisa Wright, Director of the Medical Assisting and Electrocardiography programs to come up, and Toby Shea and Angela Tebow will be distributing the pins. Would the first row of graduates please approach the stairs? Thank you, this is Lisa Wright.
It's with great pleasure that I introduce the medical assisting class of 2017. Rebecca Almeida. Michelle Bowder. Janelle Bosquet. Allison Cabral. Yesenia Campos. Indira Cosino. Candice Gibo. Rafaela Isadora. Nicole Lupino. Monica Ramos. And Cora Wu. It's with great pleasure that I introduce the electrocardiography class of 2017. Shandel Abaraka. Atiana Barriet. Nicole Bellafay. Sharon Bird, Cassandra Cabral, Patrick Lever, Molly Mendonca. Tiffany Randall, Jeremy Chirac, Dominique Vandell, and Jennifer Zapata Bonilla. Kelly Doyle, Director of Health Information Management and Coding Reimbursement, will announce her graduates' names and the pins will be distributed by faculty member Gina Tassinari. Got it? Hi, it is also with sincere um, pleasure that I am going to introduce the graduates class of 2017 of the Coding and Reimbursement Specialist Program. The first graduate who could attend today is Darlene Braga. Miss Annie Souza. And now I'm happy to introduce the graduates of the Health Information Management Program. Dina Oliveira. Woo! 
Nicole Florio. Deborah St. George, Director of the Clinical Lab Science and Phlebotomy Programs, will announce her graduates' names. Pins will be distributed by faculty member Kelly Hiller. Thank you, Johanna. It is my distinct honor to introduce to you the graduates of the class of 2017 in Clinical Laboratory Science and Phlebotomy. First, Clinical Lab Science, Caitlin Costley. Susan Duchamp. Kim Lee. <laughs> Vanessa Little Katie Moreau Brenda Ritchie Marissa Russell. And now for phlebotomy. <laughs> now phlebotomy. Ashley Condy. Janine Boucher. Brooke Delano. Allison Daigle. Brittany Hoteling. <laughs> Kayla Mello. Kelly Messier. Kelly Pacheco. Valeria Paraja. <laughs> Paige Rodericks. Rebecca Sachs. Kimberly Sylvia Pare. Congratulations all. Victoria Revere, Director of the Medical, Medical Administrative Programs, will announce her graduates and the pins will be distributed by Kelly Doyle.
I'm proud to announce the graduates of the 2017 class for the Medical Administrative Practices Program. And we'll start with Sonia Dutra. Edna Tierney. I'm proud to announce the graduates in the Medical Administrative Assistant Program, Jessica Bento. Carissa Caban. Kristen Cobb. Selena DeMello. Ashley Catino. Jennifer Ferreira. Patricia Farini. Jesse Florent. Kara Glossop. Dawn Smith and Jules Sturgeon. Congratulations. Dr. Lynn Byers will now introduce the graduates of the Dental Hygiene Program and pins will be distributed by faculty member Trish Cloutier. Thank you. Okay. I am proud to announce the graduating class of 2017 Dental Hygiene Program, Amanda Bagania. Okay. Anna Batello. Denise Kamara. <laughs> Melissa Cody. <laughs> Jessica DiCarlo. Jamie Garrity. <laughs> Melanie Gennaro. <laughs> Christina Kelly. Mallory Ledegar. Caitlin Machado. Shannon Manning. Christine McCarney. <laughs> Elizabeth.
Alyssa Medeiros. Sydney Overoid. Mary Reese. Leslie Rendero. And Stephanie Sylvester. Thank you. I'm Johanna Dupont Williams. I'm the director of the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program. I will read my graduates' names, and the pins will be distributed by faculty member Karen Pimentel. Grimolda Aguiar. Robin Bevilacqua. Marissa Boucher. Brandy Cooper. Kirsten Dawson. Kelly Feria, Alicia Freitas, Amanda Kinneberg, Sarah Manchester, Katie Martinez Smith. Fatima Martins, Marie Masood, Kaylee Pelletier, Janet Phelan. Katrina Pimentel, Marianne Retz, Brenna Santos, Jade Shadburn. Caitlin Silva, Lynette Soler, Catherine Sorensen, Kathy Souza. Courtney Todman, Elizabeth Fiera, Carrie Walsh, Jessica Wilding, and who's the last person? Congratulations to the OTA graduates. What, what is she, she just came from, but I'm not going to know. Yep.
And last but not least, Coding and Reimbursement Specialist, Graduate Class of 2017, Laseka Arzola. Thank you. Chuck Williams is a singer-songwriter, president of the Rhode Island Singer-Songwriters Association. He will now perform a song that he composed to honor the dedication and hard work of BCC's health science graduates. And while he plays, we'll be showing a slideshow of all the programs. Please enjoy.
Chuck. That was great timing, Vicki. Why is it that dental hygiene students and faculty always have great teeth? And OTA students and faculty always have great fun. <laughs> so we have a surprise. And we know this is about the students, and you want this to be about the students. But after many years of service, BCC's President Spraga and Dean Dent are both retiring. Would you please come up and stand right here? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, and as I say, they truly do want this to be about the students. But this wouldn't be about the students if it weren't for these two. President Spraga has led the college through unprecedented growth and success during 17 years of leadership. And throughout his career, President Spraga has demonstrated the importance of putting students first. He really has, he said from the beginning, it's the keep the main thing the main thing, which is about student learning. And that truly has become our culture here at BCC. Under his leadership, BCC has been able to facilitate student success by reducing barriers to educational access and by incorporating the diverse life experiences, achievements, and contributions of all members of our community into the college culture. For nine years, Dean Patricia Dent has guided the Health Sciences Division through remarkable change and progress, meticulously leading intensive efforts to bring the massage, occupational therapy assistant, nursing, dental hygiene, medical assistant, clinical lab science, and phlebotomy programs to their current state-of-the-art levels in terms of lab facilities, technology, online learning, and equipment. Students in the health programs have benefited every day from the efforts of both Patricia Dent and Jack Spraga. So tonight, our program directors, Lisa Wright and Victoria Rivera, are going to pin President Spraga <laughs> and Dean Dent in acknowledgement of their leadership and dedication to BCC. President Sprague and Dean Dent, congratulations, and thank you so much. <laughs> Bristol Community College is a learner-centered college and committed to student success. You won't find many colleges where we truly work hand-in-hand -hand with our students for their success in learning and in achieving their goals. The health science programs, and students tell me if you agree or not, are particularly challenging. <laughs> and they're potentially life-changing. And graduates, we know how rigorous the health science programs are. We don't t torture you for no reason. <laughs> Do you know that you are superheroes in our eyes? as most of you juggle the demands of college with full-time jobs, caring for your children, and other life roles. As you go forward in your health careers, please never forget us at BCC. Please don't forget the professionalism, the ethics, the therapeutic use of self, and the compassion we've taught you. Tonight's ceremony is the end of this portion of your education and the beginning of your professional career. And I say this portion of your education because keeping current in best practices in healthcare fields requires your commitment to ongoing professional development and lifelong learning, as President Sprague has said. Stay in touch with us, and our college resources are here for your use. We have incredible faculty, incredible library resources. Maybe one day you'll go on and come back and teach with us. So congratulations, graduates. Your hard work has paid off. May we have a round of applause for all the graduates.
And we haven't mentioned the faculty, although you have by your chairs. Faculty, your dedication to these students, your willingness to help them through academic and personal challenges has created the platform for their success. Graduates, please show your appreciation to your faculty with a round of applause. And finally, and most importantly, to the family and friends who are here tonight in person and in spirit. These graduates could not have accomplished this much without the understanding, help, and support you have extended. Thank you for making dinner, for doing the laundry, for taking care of the kids, for picking up the kids at the bus stop, and for giving your graduate time to study. Thank you for your help along the way and for celebrating your student's success tonight. Graduates, please stand and turn and give your families and friends a round of applause. Good job, everyone. Momentarily, we will end the program and adjourn to the brick area, which is immediately to the left as you exit the theater. You can exit both doors at the back or come from upstairs down the stairs. There's also a door over here you can exit through. But first, would all of the guests in the audience please remain seated until the graduates and the honored guests on stage have exited the theater. Graduates, please stand. I'm going to ask for a round of applause while the graduates exit in a moment and honored, honored guests, you may also stand. And ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2017.